What's up everybody? It is the Best Bot Kid Smooth and I am back with another video and today I want to talk a little bit more about the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X now that the specs are out there. Specs are there, facts on paper, they're there and for some reason it has not really killed the speculation talk. Um, we, we know what the specs are uh, side by side, the GPU and the CPU, the SSDs and whatnot and the verdict is obviously the Xbox Series X is more powerful than the PlayStation 5. There's no if, but. However, uh, there's still speculation and there's a lot of people running with this narrative that the PlayStation 5 is more powerful by some Kraken method and some other shit that, um, you know, we haven't really seen in practice. So this is the first time where you literally have physical specs that you can see and you can do the math and they're not adding up uh, according to uh, the playstation guys uh, a lot of people are running the people that did not care about power are going out of their way to convince others that hey this 10.3 t-flop machine is more powerful than that 12.1 t-flop machine and here's why the thing that i have a problem with is that they're going over these methods that none of us have seen in practice there's no working operating demo of what the playstation 5 is capable of doing with his ssd and his variable clock speeds and and whatnot however there are demos available for the xbox series x we've seen what it did to gears 5 uh and how it's literally matching maximum pc settings on the console without being optimized and once they optimize who knows what more they can do with that there's a demo available on youtube that you can watch today we've seen the load time comparison we've seen ray tracing in action using albeit being minecraft but they did show it and the thing is, is that the information that's available about the Series X, it's raw data that can be, you know, used in practices. Obviously, the uh, the data that's there, the, the tech that's inside the X Xbox Series X is new tech. Some, a lot of stuff is not obviously not available uh, today uh, to, to build a PC around. The same with the PlayStation 5. The, 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 my biggest beef with this whole, the PS5 is more powerful than the Series X because cracking, cracking, cracking. Um, it reminds me of the Xbox One back in 2013. There was never this much defense for Xbox One's ES RAM and Xbox One's power of the cloud and Xbox One Direct X12 compatibility. Uh, that that never nobody wanted to believe the secret sauce but now these people that don't care about power that made fun of the secret sauce that made fun of the power of the cloud that made fun of the es ram are now trying to convince us to believe in that the ssd is more is it's better than uh, the highest gpu possible better than the highest cpu possible they're slower in both areas but the ssd makes up for all of it and there's this push and a lot of people is pulling developers most of the developers that are talking about the playstation 5 and what it can do these are actually first party devs so they're only working with playstation hardware they don't have an xbox hardware to work with um in theory in theory the playstation 5 and what it can possibly do sounds pretty awesome and and, and very creative but in, in comparison the xbox series x is just raw power that developers can take advantage of it's 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 in, it's like engine friendly like uh, all the stuff that's in there i mean the gpu is um is, is insane the cpu is for consoles is insane and they have it's not like their ssd is some piece of shit they have like a a legit ssd and we saw it in practice and most of the stuff we did we did see on the xbox series x is stuff that aren't actually optimized so I just find it funny that people are working diligently to convince us that the PlayStation 5 is going to somehow, through magic, be power more powerful than the Xbox Series X, even though the numbers and the data that's inside the hardware does not support that. Um, and it's like I said, once again, it's the first time where we have specs that are clear as day, but we can't go buy them. And the craziest thing, not, not only is people saying, oh, they're going to be close, they're going to be close, going to be close. They're going as far as saying the lesser spec machine is going to outperform the higher spec machine. 
Now the teraflop difference between the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X is a literally a PlayStation 4. You know how small, like that's a 1.8 teraflop difference I believe it is, right? You know how the, the biggest teraflop difference between the Xbox One and a PlayStation 4 was? It was five, a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 teraflop, 1.3 versus 1.8. The biggest difference, obviously, were 900p versus 1080p or 900p versus 720p. Obviously, the Xbox being uh, the lower end of that. Other crazy thing is that the Xbox had these things to try to make up the difference. The ES RAM, DirectX 12, power of the cloud to help assist and, and bring up that power difference that nobody wanted to believe or nobody wanted to fuck with or nobody wanted to follow. And the difference, like I said, the game's really weren't that drastically different the resolutions were that's how we got resolution gate now we go in much more advanced tech several years later uh, both these machines are quadrupling what their base machines done uh, done back in 2013 and you're telling me that the this time around moore's law fucked everything up and the lesser spec machine is going to be better in terms of performance than the higher spec machine. When 0.5 teraflops between PS5 and the P I mean PS4 and the Xbox One was literally resolution for the most part. This time we're telling me, oh, it's just all reversed. I don't get it. Somebody with brains, please convince me uh, or, 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 or tell me how is this possible? And the problem I, like I said, the problem I have with this whole PlayStation 5 is more powerful. A lot of this stuff is in theory. Nobody really knows how it works. There's no working example. There's not. The Xbox Series X, there's a working example. I feel like it's just crazy how the rumors that happened where they, they said the Xbox was behind, uh, the PlayStation uh, 5 dev kits were more advanced, they're, they're more mature, they're far ahead of Xbox. And since that bullshit, I have not heard any updates on how PlayStation 5 is uh, d doing. The last thing we heard is that they're having problems cooling the thing, they're having issues with the thermals, and they're having trouble pricing it. That's what I heard about the PlayStation 5. The Xbox Series X dev kits seem to be mature. We have working demos already, and we're about to see more information in the next coming weeks of games and demos and, and more examples. But you guys let me know, it's a PlayStation 5 really more powerful than xbox series x despite their specs the facts that we have in front of our face you let me know as always xbox is the best box and i am the best spot good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe and please please everyone be safe social distancing peace